Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and I'm looking at a word problem here. Let's go ahead and read it together. Jack and Jill go up the hill every day fetching pails of water. Each weekday, that's Monday through Friday, they fetch 52 pails between them. On weekends, they give themselves a little rest, only fetching 24 pails on Saturday and 10 on Sunday. Now, I see uh, that's a lot of information, but I still don't know what my question is. Here's my question. What is the average number of pails they fetch per day? Now, there's a lot of different things I could ask you. I could ask when I give you um, a list of data or I give you data like this. I could have you find per different percentages. I could have you do averages, mean, median, mode, range. There's a lot of things, okay? So this time I've asked you to find average. So do remember that average or mean... is the number we would have if we had the same thing every time, if we had the same item repeated in the data set every time. In this case, our data set is a bunch of numbers of pails a day. So the average would be what we'd have if Jack and Jill fetch the same number of pails every day. So to figure that out, the first thing we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to total. We'll take all the water that they fetch in the course of this period of time that we're talking about, and that's a week. So we'll take our total water in the week. You always start an uh, average problem by finding a total. Sometimes it's given to you, uh, but usually you have to find it. And then we are going to want to uh, divide here as, as if they were getting the same amount every day because we're talking about the number of pails they p fetch per day. So if we did total water in a week, we're going to want to divide here by the number of days in that week. So that's seven. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. Now, it says each weekday they fetch 52 pails between them. A lot of students just write 52 and then they try to move on, but be careful. They're not just fetching 52 pails one time. They're fetching it each weekday. They're fetching that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're fetching those 52 pails five different times on those five weekdays. And again, you could have just added 52 five times, but I'm too lazy to go 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 when there's a short way. Adding up 52 five times is the same as 52 times five. And then I do Saturday, 24 pills. Now that was just one day, Saturday, so I'm just going to write that 24 one time. And Sunday, I fetch 10 pills. Again, there's just one Sunday in a week, so I'm just going to write that one time. Now I'm going to divide that by those days in that week. That is seven days I was just talking about, those five weekdays and those two weekends. Okay. Again, make sure you do all this work on top and press enter in your TI 30XS calculator. So 52 times 5 plus 24 plus 10, and I press enter. Oh, I didn't have my calculator turned on, y'all. It's a good day. There we go. I get 294. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to divide by 7. And I do get 42. And for those of you saying, hey, that was the exact same problem we did for the mean problem a few days ago. Uh, yeah, it is. Because mean and average are the same thing. <laughs> okay, they could ask you for some other things, median, mode, range. But they asked you for the average, which is the same as the mean. So this problem is worked the exact same way. So yeah, 42 is my final answer. If you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, uh, be sure to drop your questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.